Well, there you go. How, how does it feel now? Are you are you heavily medicated right now? So it probably feels. No, okay. no, no, no. Actually, uh, at the at the ER, when when the when the nurse said, "Hey, we're gonna give you some some uh, painkillers." What is your what is your a uh, 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 pain from the scale to zero to ten? And I said two, because because for a reason that the drugs and all of that I've been clean for some time, and I said, do I want to, you know, God set me free. Jesus Christ set me free from all these things. And just for the one finger, I was not going to take any. How about aspirin? I say, not aspirin, nothing. I'm not going to take nothing. So it's not been hurting. It's been good. Praise God. So but. zero to 10, you said two, and you didn't take any medication after losing a finger. Yeah, I, even until now, just coffee, just coffee right here. Take us through the fight. What happened? At what point did you realize something was wrong with your finger? In the second round, uh, when we were on the ground position against the cage, uh, my opponent grabbed the, the, the hand by the, the glove. Yeah? Let, me, let me give this, this part to, to Joe because I don't want to give nothing, uh, no excuse or any, any uh, uh, against my opponent. I'm just going to give my coach, he explained, and then we talk, brother. Okay, Joe, what, what what happened? What did you see from your vantage point? Okay, so um, in the second round, K-Talk took the opponent down. The opponent reached under and grabbed his glove. When he gl grabbed his glove and started pulling on it multiple times, even during the – when we went back and watched the video, even the announcers were like, he's pulling on his glove. The ref hasn't noticed yet. Well, when he was pulling on the glove, it caused – his finger to get lodged in a different position by him pulling on us. It, it came out the slot. And so then when they came back up and they started exchanging punches, the, the finger, it, it basically severed because of, because of the whole thing. And, you know, first, first of all, though, I will, I want to say this guy has to be one of the toughest dudes on the planet. When he came back to the corner, he tried to hide that his finger was hanging by a piece of string so he could go back out there and knock this dude out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to file an appeal because that should definitely be a disqualification. Uh, it's a great organization, and, you know, the referee is a good referee, but I think because of the angle, he didn't get to see it. What's next? Is it, is it see a doctor, get healthy, and get back in the gym? Well, yeah, we have already uh, the doctor from Philadelphia made made us a referral, the one in Cincinnati, the hand specialist. We're going to probably see tomorrow or next day and see what needs to be done, either surgery or, or physiotherapy. Also, my team is doing, a, 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 you know, what's the challenge in this fight to see how that goes appealing this fight. But on my end, I will heal this hand and keep training and and. and We'll see what God gives next. Either I want to eventually make UFC, you know, if God gives and the, the, the UFC good man give me that opportunity, I'd appreciate that. That'd be a long time dream, brother. You brought up the UFC. We'll play this for Dana White. Hit tag. What's your message for Dana White in the UFC? Well, Dana, Dana White, I met in Brazil, Sao Paulo, at one of the UFC. And uh, we met, we talked a little bit and say, see you soon in the UFC. And it's been some years went by and a lot of up and down, but what's the message? I'm willing to lose a finger for the UFC contract. 